I'm recording. Yeah, let me know when it dies. I'm with my good buddy Seabear, my buddy Lance from Thrashing. Are you riding with us? Yeah, I think I'm gonna. Let's get it. And his dad and good friend Galen. Where are we going again, brother? We're gonna go down Spearfish Canyon. Spearfish Canyon? To the okay. To the Boar's Nest. All right, cool. Two lane life in the building. And Joe on our 883. We're the only sporties out here. We're gonna be gunning it. I know. Our peanut gas tanks. Gas is a full dollar and some change cheaper than uh, than Chicago out here. I can't believe I'm shooting in 4K. Yeah, you're tiptoed. I'm like bent knees and everything. All right, guys. So I guess I didn't really do an intro there. So what is up? It is your least favorite moto vlogger, Brian636. Shout out to my guy, Seabear, right away. Um, it was a really long night last night, and I forgot my GoPro. I am your least favorite moto vlogger. That's what I do. Didn't charge my GoPro. Stayed up all night editing the brawl footage, and uh, Seabear pulled up with a Hero 10. He's like, if you want to vlog today, man, you can you can use it. I'll charge it for you, blah, blah, blah. So shout out to Seabear for making this vlog possible. That boy's sliding. But let me know if you guys can see a quality difference in the video and uh, the video format here. I'm shooting in 4K because I'm on a Hero 10 right now. And uh, your boy's been shooting on a Hero 5 and a cell phone for damn near most of my YouTube career. I met Thrash and Supply, his dad Lance, and his other buddy from Two Lane Life here about four years ago. And I remember sitting down to dinner with them and uh, them saying how much they travel and whatnot. And, you know, talking about should we start vlogging. And, it's really cool to see how far that their channels both have come over the couple years that I haven't seen them in between. Now I know I'm going to have people asking why the hell did you not do a hoodie for this one because we are going uh, to get something to eat right now. I'm with a couple other vloggers and the truth of the matter is, is what we're going to eat I've already done before. I've, I've eaten in Deadwood before. Look at my guy. <laughs> We're literally in the middle of nowhere. You're not going anywhere. If you're getting a wheelie ticket, you are getting a wheelie ticket. If you're getting pulled over, you're getting pulled over. I got pulled over on Friday night for my tail light not being bright enough on this thing. He ran my VIN on the bike. He ran the VIN on the motor. He ran my insurance. He ran my state ID. He ran me for warrants in South Dakota and Illinois. Just a crazy amount of shit. I just saw that cop. Look at this, man. You literally forget living in a major city like Chicago or New York or LA, how much of the country actually still looks like this. It's uh, it's pretty insane to say the least. This vast, vast land with really nothing but a couple houses off in the distance there. But other than that, it's literally untouched land. I'm happy I'm not the only sportster out here, but uh, hers is definitely not geared the way mine is. Mine's a 60 tooth in the back, so. The highways on this thing, it's not fun. You can do it, you can definitely do it. As you saw, we were just doing 80, 85 foot. You're working this motor, there's no doubt you're working it. You just got done doing the brawl yesterday. Both both me and Sebra, I think, have had better performances at the brawl. I definitely have. I was just a little bit off, I don't know. I think it had to do with maybe lean back, just really wearing me out and then immediately come in here and you have to be honest with yourself. You have to be a critic of yourself. You have to know, you know, what you need to do and improve on or else you're never gonna, you're never gonna get better. I really think this part of the country too is just super fascinating to me. Cause if you know American history at all, as we migrated west, all these little towns out here in places like Dakota, Montana, were, were truly the wild west, like there was, shootouts and people mining for gold in Indian territory and brothels and gambling dens and every, pretty much anything you can imagine. Indians were, were killing cowboys and vice versa and uh, it's a part of American history that 
once again, you just don't think of a lot if you're not, you know, in this part of the country. That's a bad man, ladies and gentlemen. That's a bad man. This couple up here on the back is loving it. They're from New York. Like I said, man, this might not be your part of bike life, but it is a part of bike life. Just Harleys and this type of riding. Shut up, my guy. Let me use his camera. Let me use his moves. I know it's probably just me, but I can just like picture a Native American 100 years ago or so just standing up on these mountains, observing the white men take their gold. Some real uh, ugly part of American history there, what we did to the Indians. Hi guys, just had an amazing dinner here at Boar's Nest, had that pulled pork, really good. Definitely a lot of clowns out here. Good to meet you and ride with you guys, for real, pleasure. Amazing man, getting to ride these uh, Black Hills with a bunch of like professional dudes like this that take riding seriously. And just the amount of history that's, that's here in this part of the country is uh, something really special, I don't know. Look at all them tires. Central City, population 93. There's less than 100 people that live here. There's more than 93 people living on my block. This might not be your subsection of bike life. You know, you might be a Grom rider 
who enjoys off-roading or you could be a supermoto hooligan that uh likes doing wheelies and taking it off jumps or you could be a full-on uh street bike rider that uh, only goes to ride of the century and other rides like that or a race rider or whatever um this is just another subsection of bike life is is harley riding like this and it might not be as adrenaline or you know crazy as something else but i truly do have fun doing it really has become a pretty over policed event though all of sturgis this is kind of a unique thing see that x marks the spot x marks the spot south dakota marks all their deaths on the highway with those x marks the spot see that there's three of them in like one corner it means it's a really deadly corner kind of crazy something that uh illinois definitely doesn't do but we also don't have some of these insane blind corners and uh you know that mixed with winter time or and or the rally like this that brings in thousands of riders that may or may not be drinking um yeah a lot of those red x's when we're going through these hills i'm sure you've noticed them through the through this video think about it man like literally 150 plus years ago i would be riding into this town on an actual horse with my hat on looking for gold now we're just riding in on that steel horse craziest part about this whole week too if they got a gray shirt on like that it means that they're really not sturgis or deadwood or spearfish police they were just brought in by the state uh to police this rally because of how many out-of-towners it really does bring in um a lot of the times you can pay your fine on the spot you did a wheelie ticket you can pay it on the spot speeding ticket on the spot i think dui they still take you in but uh yeah definitely an over policed event nowadays it is uh, one of the main ways that these small towns generate revenue is uh, during these two weeks of the rally. What do you guys think? Uh, leave down in the comments. Do you think I should get one of these new Hero 10s? Can you tell the difference in the recording quality? Definitely curious to see if you guys can see or not. Little known fact, I am colorblind, so some of these different qualities and, uh, and footage, I can barely even tell. 4K, 1080p, but... All right, guys, as I get back to my home base here where I've been staying most of the week, and uh, I lose cell phone service as I go truly up into the mountains. I really do gotta give a special shout out to my patrons uh, for helping to continue to fund this channel. Um, obviously, as you know, traveling right now is not very cheap. Gas is really expensive. So anytime I'm going to one of these events or coming to meet up with other content creators or anything like that, um, obviously uh, it's funded by the patrons as YouTube is not nearly paying what, uh, what it used to. If you guys enjoyed this video, uh, make sure to give it a like. If you're uh, new here, make sure to subscribe. And if you're not familiar with Two Lane Life or uh, Thrashin or Sea Bear, any of those guys, uh, go ahead and click the links down in my description there. I'll have all their channels uh, right there in the in the description box. Fourth year here in Sturgis, we survived it. We didn't get arrested. We didn't crash. Good times, man. God's watching over us. As always, this is your least favorite moto vlogger telling y'all to respect life, and I'm out of here. I love y'all. Peace.